Alright, what is going on YouTube? See when we get a couple people on here. Guys, I'm making fresh ceviche, swordfish ceviche. Here's some swordfish steaks. Happy Sunday. How's everyone doing? I'm at the marina, sportsman's lodge. Alright, we got some people. I'm live, yeah. Come here. You wanna you wanna come say hi to YouTube? Yeah. No. I'm just cleaning up the swordfish right now and then I'm going to cube it up to let it soak in some limes and lemon. I'm just cutting out the bloodline here using my bubble blade and this is the multi-flex which is really awesome because you're able to, hands are slippery. This pops right off. This is the multi-flex bubble blade system. All the different blades and it pops right out and you can switch them out. This is awesome. You can use it for everything, any kind of fish, different um, sizes and fillets, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna start cutting this up into steaks. Guys, this is fresh swordfish. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cut it up into small chunks, probably like this size. It's about the size that you want for um, ceviche. cut the bloodline out because the bloodline you typically has like kind of a fishy and it's um, a little bit harder meat and I love swordfish ceviche because swordfish absorbs the um, juices and everything like that we're gonna put in it which I'm not gonna do everything right now I'm just cutting up the swordfish right now and then letting I'm gonna let it sit in the juices and then later we're gonna add all the vegetables like cucumber I do mango avocado cilantro, um, tomatoes, bell peppers, purple onion, and with all the juices, oh, it's fire, guys. And for some reason, swordfish it, ceviche is, it's one of my favorites because of how firm the fish is. I mean, you can see how firm it is and it just absorbs everything. Guys, my my uh, friend's daughter. Come say hi. You don't want to say hi to everybody? 
They might want to ask you some questions. Oh, she's being shy, guys. Look, she's right there. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Hey you. Come say hi. She's being shy. Kenny is six. She's a friend of mine's daughter. One of my captains actually down here in Venice for the bed and breakfast. He's an offshore captain. And Miss Kenny is full of sass. <laughs> but I love her. Guys, so I'm actually going to do a giveaway for the uh, one of these Multiflex knives. If you want to check it out, it's going to be on my Instagram. My Instagram is Nicole underscore Spence, and it's S-P-E-N-C, just like my name on here. everybody doing on this lovely Sunday can't really see the comments right now but <laughs> hope y'all are enjoying it limes. Um, limes I, yeah I those, there's those and then I you said there was some in the refrigerator I don't know where mine are I'm kind of slow <laughs> I'll let Richard do the uh, limes and stuff. <laughs> it's taken me like 10 minutes just to cut up this little bit. Huh? Uh oh. I don't know. I have a whole bag of them somewhere. Maybe they're at my house. I could have swore it was in that bag though. <laughs> They're skinny. she would make an appearance eventually. She says no. <laughs> and then, of course. Ooh, girlfriend. Yeah. Careful, careful. Yeah, we also have some fresh tuna, guys. I'm gonna do cut up some tuna and do some soy sauce, um, and just eat that right now for a snack until later when we're cooking all that good stuff. Did you find some limes? Cool. Have you talked to Walter today? Walter? Oh yeah. Did uh, everybody give you some money? Huh? I'll talk to him about it. Is that keyword for no, don't? <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I'll give you some money. Bubble blade. Oh, he's using a bubble blade too, guys. Check it out. You're really slow with that. I know, guys. I'm really slow. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. 
I'm, I'm slow at all my stuff, like cooking and everything. It just all takes a lot of time. Don't have to. I guess it's, yeah, you know all the secrets. <laughs> You've been doing it a lot longer. Guys, so Richard does kind of like what, what I do with the bed and breakfast. He has a lodge. We're at his lodge right now and does all the cooking for the clients and they stay upstairs and um, it's here at this lodge. So he definitely is a lot faster he's been doing it a lot longer and knows a lot more than I do and I kind of learned from him which is great and as you're, as you're getting spanked yeah right now with, Kenny's, with a dog toy. Kenny's slapping me with a dog toy right now <laughs> But that's something you didn't wake up thinking you'd be Ow, saying girl. today. <laughs> okay, Kenny, stop. Stop. That's cool. I need to get one of those. Yeah, it makes a difference. It's just like a little. That's yeah. neat. The oranges, whatever, make your own orange juice. Takes the seeds out. Oh yeah, that's great. Where did you get that on Amazon? Um, I can't remember. That's why I've had it for so long. I don't think so. I think I bought it at one of the, the restaurant supply places in, on the coast. Hmm. All right. Look into that. I'm sure they got them on Amazon. I got everything else. So. Yeah, I got my um, lights finally. I'm still waiting on the wires though yeah, for, the for the cameras. This one piece of swordfish is gonna be a lot of ceviche. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually was like, kind of like, mm, I don't know, but the type of fish and how it is and how firm it is, it's just very, uh, very filling and full. Right, good stuff. It is good. I, this is my favorite nice. fish to use. For oh yeah, it stands up well to the like, everything. It lasts a while. Yeah. Especially the lime, cooking it in the lime and lemon. Mm-hmm. Guys, swordfish is the perfect fish for ceviche. It's, it's by far my favorite. I mean, I will do like redfish and um, I've done triple tail and stuff of that nature. But swordfish is definitely my favorite. Oh, it's good. It is good. Yeah, we got some tuna dip from the other night that we made, or Richard made. Look at that, guys. He smoked all this fresh tuna and then mixed in a bunch of stuff and made a tuna dip, and it is fire. Fire, fire. Have to do a, I'll have to do a video for you guys on the tuna dip. Fresh yellowfin tuna dip. This is fresh swordfish ceviche. All very healthy, living off the land out here, down in Venice, Louisiana. We've had an epic weekend of swordfish. There was several swordfish uh, caught on bay boats this weekend. Um, it was flat calm. We went wade fishing. Caught that. I, don't, I haven't uh, posted anything yet, but on my Instagram you saw where I posted the big red fish I got yesterday, and then we maxed out on some trout on the first day.
well guys this is kind of boring I'm sure so I'm gonna speed up the process and go ahead and just dump some of this juice in there for you so you can sort of see what's going on so here's all my cut up um, sword finish or some of it I'm gonna add to it of course We are going to, he was doing the juices here. Let's see if I can get this off. Let's see if you can see it. See all the juices in here? So we're just gonna put this on here. Ooh. And we're actually gonna let this sit in a bag in the fridge in a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead, I went ahead and did it so that it can start cooking. But that is what it's gonna look like. So in a, so in a couple hours, we'll let that sit. Here, I'll take this off. So in a couple hours, we'll let that go ahead and sit. And then we're gonna add, like I said, we're gonna add cilantro, we're gonna add cucumber, avocado, um, some, yeah, mango. I've got some pep bell peppers, purple onion, and heated olives and like guacamole last time, but I think I'm gonna leave that out this time and just try it and see how it comes out, guys. So stay tuned for it. Um, I'll post maybe on my story. I don't know if I'll actually go live again, but hope you guys enjoyed this. Say bye. Here's Richard eating the tuna dough. <laughs> Kenny, do you wanna come say bye? <laughs> come here. Say bye to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> that wild child. All right, guys. See you later. <laughs>